you cannot create a pivot table on every table you wish. You need to apply a specific layout to your data source, the so-called database layout or a flat file layout. Uh, and then on top of that, you can then create a pivot table. Uh, database layout can be found in our sales uh, table where you can see we've got exactly one row of headers and the data for every column goes from top to the bottom, especially, especially for the dates. Uh, every uh, date is in row and I don't have any dates in columns. Now in the exercise uh, one folder, you can find also the file called the wrong data source, where we can find the common mistakes made with the data source, which is not suitable for creating a pivot table. For example, we've got empty rows, which will cause usually some problems uh, when inserting the pivot table, you can, or ins inserting a table or a pivot table, you can see uh, the range is not exactly as I would expect, uh, not only for the pivot table, but also for the table, which is not expanding to the bottom. Uh, so the best practice is to get rid of all of the empty rows. In this exercise, I will show you the step-by-step uh, -step, uh, tutorial for the manual uh, correction of the data sources, but keep in mind that there is always a better way, which is called Power Query. This is the tool covered in a separate course that you can, the tool that you can find in, uh, of course, Microsoft Excel on the data tab under get data, which is for me the second uh, best thing uh, ever discovered inside Excel. The first, of course, pivot tables and the second favorite thing is a power query tool. And this is the best way how to ap apply all of this um, uh, transformations. I will show them in here uh, rather for uh, training purposes, but I strongly encourage you to have a look on uh, what I've prepared for you in the Power Query course. Uh, so let's continue with um, fixing the data source. For example, I have the header which is split into two columns, but this is not possible. Uh, so I need to uh, bring it back just to a single header. In here, I have also merged cells, which cover some of the data inside. You cannot have merged cells for the pivot table, so you need to unmerge them. And for example, in our case, split the headers uh, to have a separate header for every of the uh, tables. You should avoid also uh, mistypes and common mistakes. I will talk about it uh, later uh, too. Uh, for example, we have the Northwest and a misspelling in here. So let's correct it automatically. What is more, every column needs to have a header. So if you don't have one, you need to create one like the state for the E column. And what is usually hard to understand, uh, you can have the database layout, which is the correct one and the one that we need, uh, where you have just one header and all the data goes from top to bottom. But you can also have a kind of pivoted layout, which looks like a bit a pivot table, uh, where your data goes from left to right. And this is the scenario you can find already in here, but also in the uh, second exercise, you should avoid the scenario like this and try to split this into separate columns. Uh, I will show it manually, like creating the uh, sales column, where I will place all the information coming from the year 2020 that I will right now copy down to every cell. And this is going to be me, my year column. But what about the year 2021? You should place it uh, in a separate column to store only the sales values. And at the end also in the year 2021. And what is more, you should repeat all of this information uh, for the year 2021 to stick to the uh, database layout. After that, you remove unnecessary uh, rows. We can get rid of the unnecessary formatting. 
we can insert a table following the recommendation from the previous exercise and once you insert a pivot table then this is the layout that will allow you to easily analyze the data by years coming into columns by sales by state and so on this is the uh, layout that we actually need another requirement in the worksheet number two is to have uh, the data source without any totals or subtotals with all of the information for all of the rows fields uh, if it's applicable because sometimes you don't have any information and what is more without this pivoted layout that I will try to fix uh, in a second. So if I wanted to uh, fix this manually I can just remove uh, unnecessary rows, copy down the information uh, for the years to have it in all of uh, my rows but there is always a challenge in Excel with um, uh, unpivoting the data because there is no uh, actually uh, transformation which is available for uh, this inside Excel except of course uh, for uh, Power Query or maybe a macro so let me just quickly fix it uh, just for the training purposes by using Power Query uh, to show you the final layout and also encourage you to go to the uh, Power Query course. The expected unpivoted layout uh, will look like this, the year column, the quarter column, the region column and the sales column and if I hit close and load I will go back to my Excel worksheet and this is going to be the layout necessary for us to create a pivot table. Sometimes when you get the information from the IT system by exporting the data for example from SAP or from any uh, database then the data should have the correct layout but if this is not the case or if a human created the table then uh, there is quite high uh, probability that there is going to be something wrong with your data source. And the last scenario coming from the worksheet number three, if your data quality in general is not quite high, uh, for example your dates are not dates in the same data format which is recognized by Excel. If you have problem with your numbers, you've got the missing value or the problem with the uh, formulas, you have mistypings, you've got the spaces at the end or any other uh, elements, then you cannot expect a pivot table to work smoothly. Your dates will not be treated as dates, you won't be able to group dates, you won't be able to easily slice the dates, use some slicers that we are going to discover later. If you uh, place sales on the values, you don't get any expected sum of sales. And if you use the regions on columns in here, you can see that every separate text is treated as something different, as a different category, and you won't be able to uh, analyze the data based on uh, this. What you need to do, fix the data, uh, either in Power Query or manually, and then insert a pivot table on top of that.